Alabama at the USS Alabama in Mobile, Alabama. That is the Mighty A, the USS Alabama. I met a great guy named Bill Tunnel when I was working on the book, The Meals of War, Greats, Feeding the Greats to the Grunts of World War II. And we're going to talk about the park here, the battleship, and what it took to feed all of those sailors, 2,500 of them, on the big battleship, the Mighty A. The USS Alabama, BB-60, it has sister ships of the South Dakota, Indiana, Massachusetts. In fact, it is a South Dakota-class battleship. It was commissioned on August 16, 1942. The Alabama saw 37 months of active duty during World War II. She are nine battle stars. The Mighty A was her nickname, but she was also known as the Lucky A. She safely carried her crew throughout the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean campaigns and never suffered any casualties or significant damage due to enemy fire. And the Navy agreed to transfer the ship to the state of Alabama to the Battleship Commission. And uh, on September the 14th, 1964, the ship uh, ended a 5,600 uh, a uh, nautical mile tow from Bremerton, Washington to, to Mobile Bay. It's still the longest uh, ton per mile tow in, in history. Uh, she came in, they dredged an 11,000 foot channel and uh, dredged out actually uh, 2.9 million cubic yards that made Battleship Memorial Park. And uh, the ship, uh, even though she looks like she's floating, the bottom of the keel of the ship actually sits 22 feet below the bottom of the water of Mobile Bay. She had four engine rooms, each had two boilers and two turbines. She had a horsepower of 130,000, four propellers, and they each weighed about 18 tons. The USS Alabama had a crew of about 2,500 men. There were a lot of places that cooks and bakers could cook dinner, meals, and they did it about 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You want a cup of joe in the morning? It took four 80-gallon pots to make 320 gallons of coffee every morning. The cooks and bakers had to prepare more than 7,500 meals a day, over 50,000 meals a week, which makes about 2.5 million meals a year, all in the middle of the ocean. The neat thing about this part of the ship is this is the butcher shop. You can check out these big hooks hanging right there, hold a piece of meat. Down below us, there's reefers, refrigerators, freezers. All day long, the, soul, the butchers would start hauling up meat with those hooks, start preparing it, and today's work would go towards tomorrow's meal. There were a lot of places to prepare a meal on the USS Alabama. There were seven, in fact, including the main bakery, galley, and butcher shop. They tried to utilize every bit of space, including putting tables and chairs around a curved wall of Gun Turret 3. Yeah, in the spring of 1964, uh, when most school kids in Alabama didn't know that this battleship even existed, is that uh, the, the call came forth to raise money to bring the ship here and almost a million school students in the state of Alabama raised almost $100,000, which was fairly significant, but since the uh, minimum wage at that time was a dollar an hour and you could buy a Cadillac for $3,000. Now, cooking was really hard on a battleship. you got to take into account space. Now, these guys worked and lived in this room, these hooks right here, hanging from the ceiling. They would hang the hammocks in them. The cooks and bakers, people would actually sleep here. You got the tables lined up on the side. If it was raining outside, you could use the space for also uh, church services or meetings. And of course, if you got in a fight and you needed some place to put somebody in a fight after they got busted, you'd throw them in a the brig. And the, the brig, temporary brig right here, you could get in a fight, throw them in a brig, and you had to watch everybody else eat. An average beef stew meal for 2,500 men on Alabama used about 1,000 pounds of beef, 37 pounds of fat, 100 gallons of water, and more than 2,100 pounds of other ingredients. Yeah, since 1985, we've had overnight programs where groups of scout groups and either all boys or all girls get to spend the night on board ship. We've had over, over 200,000 kids that have spent the night since that time. One of the hidden secrets about the USS Alabama that a lot of people are surprised about is the ice cream stand, the G-Dunk. They can make 100 gallons of ice cream a day, ran almost 24 hours, and a lot of people, you know, say 24 hours of 100 gallons, you've got 2,500 guys on board, ice cream is not going to last long, but it is something special to make a day a little bit better.
USS Alabama Battleship Memorial Park, actually opened to the public January the 9th, 1965, and uh, has, has hosted over 14 million visitors since then. Uh, Self-supporting uh, agency of the state of Alabama that actually represents all the branches of the United States Armed Forces, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. So when you get here, you're going to see the USS Drum, America's oldest existing submarine. You're going to see 25 historic aircraft representing all five of the services, plus a lot of other military and other artifacts. It's a, an incredible thrill to come and see what America's finest has to offer. You know, it really is kind of intimidating looking at it in, in that direction. When you walk up to it, you hear kids going, wow, it's huge. It's absolutely the biggest thing I've ever seen. But when you get inside, people go, oh, it's kind of small. It's not as big as I thought. But that's because every bit of space is taken advantage of, just like you would think on a submarine. It's space utilized the best possible way. If you're ever down in Mobile, Alabama, stop by the USS Alabama. It's a pretty cool sight.